identify the prosthesis is shown in the image okay so here we have an image of a maxillary defect covered by a metallic and acrylic plate which looks like a denture and then there is an extension of this here into the soft palate okay and the options are nasoalveolar molding appliance or nam appliance feeding appliance obturator speech aid appliance now obturator word technically means to close or to seal so this appliance is definitely a type of an obturator okay but if the other options are more specific then we should focus on that now a nam appliance or a naso alveolar molding appliance is used in infants okay say 3 to 4 months of age who have cleft lip and cleft palate so if they require a surgical correction then with a naso alveolar molding appliance you are going to re, you know uh, reshape the anatomy so that the surgical success is enhanced so this would be definitely a part of uh, a growing patient who is edentulous not someone who is completely dentulous so this is not a naso alveolar molding appliance on those grounds also a naso alveolar molding appliance would have a nasal part and oral part it does not include the palate like this okay it doesn't have a palatal button next is a feeding appliance now definitely this person will have a lot of problem in eating because the soft palate is resected as you can see there is a defect in the soft palate okay so a feeding appliance would also look similar to this but it will extend more towards the oropharynx this one is going more towards the nasopharynx so because it is nasopharynx it has more relation to speech because the air flow is affected in that so between the three other options this appliance has more relevance in speech and that is why it is a speech aid appliance another appliance that you need to know is a palatal lift prosthesis so a palatal lift prosthesis would just lift the palate here it is providing a good stop for the air to be controlled okay so a speech aid prosthesis is a pharyngeal obturator here after the resection speech aid prosthesis is a type of pharyngeal obturator that extends beyond the soft tissue soft palate residual part of it and it creates a separation between oropharynx and nasopharynx it allows more stability in that area allows the movement of air okay so there can be a good amount of palato pharyngeal closure so this is a speech aid prosthesis as you can see this part goes into the defect of the soft palate and it allows the patient to uh have a better air better air flow in total soft palate resection which is also known as velopharyngeal insufficiency okay and this here is a naso alveolar molding appliance so that is a nam appliance like i told you it's for infants with clcp cleft lip cleft palate this is the nasal part of the nasal this is the nasal stent that goes into the nose and it helps you in reshaping the alveolar tissues the nose so that the surgery can be done easily so this is a nam appliance coming back to the question identify the prosthesis this is a speech aid appliance